everybody welcome back to life with me I'm back with another video this video is going to be about I'm trying not to have a shine eyebrows okay. now I used to get my hair my eyebrows waxed but they got so thin that I quit doing that. I was like from now on I'm not getting my eyebrows waxed and I got a scar from when I was a little kid I had stitches right here so my eyebrows do not grow right and when I got them waxed they just kept getting thinner and thinner and thinner so I'm like Ooh, I don't want to get them waxed anymore I'm just going to use a razor I mean even once and one time only I got them um, what's that thing called we use the string. Hang on. Okay, threaded. Threading is what I was talking about. One time I was deployed. I was in Turkmenistan, and they didn't do waxing over there, so I got it threaded. That I only got it done once, and I'm I would never get my eyebrows threaded again. Get up. Well, anyway, I said all that to say this. I'm trying this new hair remove. Not new. It's new to me. This, this Gigi hair removal cream for the face. So, but it comes with a hair removal cream, cream and it comes with a calming balm. Hair removal cream, calming balm. So, it says, do not use on areas that have been recently shaved, tweezed, or waxed. Do not apply on inflamed, chapped, irritated, broken, or sunburned skin. Do not apply on the breasts or vaginal areas. Yeah, it says do not use on eyebrows on their eyes. But I'm going to do it. And do not apply soaps, deodorants, or astringents for two hours before or after the treatment. So first step is you dampen your skin. Then, then with fingertips, apply to the desired area, making sure hair is thickly covered at skin level and do not rub in. Then you check a small area after five minutes. If hair does not remove easy, wait two more minutes. Then check again. Allow to remain on skin for five to eight minutes, but do not exceed eight minutes of total treatment time. Wipe off with damp cloth or tissue. Rinse completely with lukewarm water and pat dry. Then apply the GG Common Balm over entire area and do not wipe off. So... I'm going to do everything that says. They said I'm going to apply it to my eyebrows and just be like super duper careful. Oh, and I might put it on my lady stash. I got a lady stash. I might put it on there, okay? So now let's just wait. I've had this on for about I don't know five minutes, so it's starting to tingle a little bit. It does not burn, but since this is just my first time using it, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. And it says to take it off with a wet cloth, so I just wet some some paper towels and I'm just gonna go on and wipe it this off part for it. Oh stuff came off. See it? It's gross. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Real serious lady stash there. No, I think we do use a fresh one. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my Oh yeah, look cool. Oh wow, 
Now a fresh one for this other side. Okay, so I did cool water on it. Now I'm just patting it dry. <laughs> Am I dumb behind? You can see, I thought a lot came off this one and not so much. Because look what I did. I, I went all the way up. But it's smooth. But I took too much off here. But that'll grow back. So the next thing is to put the calming balm on there. And you put the calming balm. You don't wipe it off. You just leave it on there. That on there. Do we have aloe in here? Yep, aloe contains aloe vera to help restore the natural moisture to the skin. And that is that. Eyebrows done, even if I did a little too much to the right one. <laughs> Silly.